Did you know that the maximum ZS values in Table 41 of BS 7671 changed in 2015 when Amendment 3 of the 17th edition was published? The change was due to the introduction of the steam in factor which allows for differences in supply and voltage. So the reason that I mention this today is because if you have a list of maximum ZS values that you keep with your test kit and if that list goes back to before the change in 2015 then it's important to bear in mind that the maximum ZS values in BS7671 are now lower than they used to be. So for example if we look in table 41.3 in BS7671 18th edition amendment 2 the maximum permitted ZS for a 32 amp Type B MCB to BS6098 is now 1.37 ohms, whereas before the change in 2015 it used to be 1.44 ohms. So the CM in factor is taken into account in the max ZS values in Table 41 in the current version of the regs book. Now, if we look in Appendix 3 in BS7671, we can see this calculation, which shows how the maximum ZS values are calculated. So we multiply the voltage by the C-min factor of 0.95 and divide by IA, which is the minimum current required to operate the protective device within the disconnection site. Appendix 3 also explains that the maximum measured service must be less than or equal to 0.8 multiplied by that same calculation. So in other words, 0.8 multiplied by the values in table 41, and this is due to the operating temperature of the cable when it is under load. So when it comes to maximum ZS values in table 41, I always recommend checking the current version of the wiring rigs. Also bear in mind that if you have ZS values written down somewhere, or maybe if you have one of those cards that you used to be able to get, it may be out of date if it goes back to before 2015. I explained maximum ZS in more detail in a previous video on my channel, so if you haven't seen that already, please see the link at the top of the screen.